Hey guys, if y'all are going to recycle batteries, I can recommend bringing them to two places, either Batteries Plus or Interstate Battery. Now, in this case, I've got about 1,800 pounds of batteries when I'm said and done. Um, these golf cart batteries weigh 74 pounds a piece. These premium deep cycle batteries weigh 71 pounds a piece. These over here weigh 71 pounds a piece. These weigh 63 pounds a piece. You add them all up, we got about 1,800 pounds. There's a few more batteries going in here. Um, the batteries we were able to fully recover from my very old battery bank is these babies right here. And we're going to be putting them back into service. But the tip I'm gonna give you is the all natural tip right there, all natural and when you remove your cables or in my case these were my first ever made battery jumpers for six volt batteries to pop them on it's just using half inch soft copper and it's capable of about 950 amps so don't trip and if you take silver solder flux them a little bit and tent them you have real nice terminals for hooking up your batteries and I mean they handle it all and then of course I use that same soft copper down here on my cables for my interconnects of my batteries my jumpers and what I've done is the batteries have sat these these are old cables from the old bank so at, at uh, roughly eight and a half years you take a tote like this regular cold water and baking soda and you're going to need about a third of a box um, and about four gallons of water and you can see that color that's that acid being dissolved off of that and that's neutralized it's safe you can stick your hands in it in fact if you really want to just make your fingers nice and soft or your fingernails nice and soft it'll do that too um, but that's how you clean your your cables and your terminals up is a little bit of baking soda and you can see that's all starting to come off and it's neutralized it's safe it's not going to hurt me um, but in this one's case as you can see here i use these to put batteries together and you just bolt them in like so and you got yourself a 12 volt battery now my other battery bank still in the shop is five years old it's still good still has these on it but these you can tell they're they're my first ones and they're not perfect so uh, my second ones were a lot nicer than these and they were a lot tighter the battery didn't have a gap between them but there you go there is your easy sleazy terminal battery jumper and to clean them up right there baking soda i'd say in a 16 ounce box put at least four to six ounces in there and if it looks like it's a little stubborn add a little more uh, come out and shake it every once in a while after about an hour and a half take them out rinse them off brush them off you got nice new cables and it also removes any of the damage that might be going on with acid getting into your cables all right there you go guys tip of the day thought i'd throw that in living off grid you gotta know these things